guys, Kitty Gaming here. We are back for some more Corpse Party. Um, so where we last ended off, we have found an unknown key, uh, which unlocks classroom 3A. Um, so I think we have to go back to where we were. I think, or I'm literally the stupidest person alive. Oh yeah, because no, this was back at the beginning. So yeah, I, I looked to see that there is more to, um... More to down at the... So where the fuck do I go? Oh, not back that way. I'm just okay. I don't know where I'm going! So we gotta go back the other way, then? Because I know we also have to get to the infirmary to rest our puny little ankle. Oh, duh, I'm fucking stupid. Okay, there we go. Seems to fit the lock perfectly. Oof. Like my heart's gonna be the to the key turn. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, I'll be fine. Booty behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure. Fine. <laughs> a message been painstakingly scratched into the floor of fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should leave this room. Something's not right in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna read the newspaper. Just one little peek! Heavenly Host, breaking news, serial, ki serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone quickly missing Gone missing within the town. The authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located their whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of absconded youths were discovered within Heavily Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that the male instructor from the school was found with them alive, but nearly catonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Uh, each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue severed and removed. Uh, mutilations far grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point at the bottom. Half the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. Why is it happened long before we were born? So I shouldn't be too, too surprised. Oh, whoops. Don't know if I ever got if this was ever a bad ending or not. You will never leave this room. Okay. I hate this. So what now? <laughs> what do we do? What do you mean? Just never mind. Oh, God. Oh. 
Oh, that is different. Sheen Achi. Trapped in classroom, starved to death. Oh, it gives you fucking... It gives you the complete deaths of them, too? Oh, that's so cool. What? What? Oh god! I think I stepped in it! You, you did? These are definitely so many stats. Oh no shit! Who fucking else would they be? BT Dubs, they're your fucking friend. It's way too much information, they're gonna make me puke. Oh yeah, it's like stepping in dog shit. Faith that awaits you from here on out is one clear one indeed. You may wish to record your progress on another layer of candle lids. If it's one fate or another written, it may never be remade. Playing the odds and creating multiple paths for yourself is one basics of survival. Okay, that's fucking odd. Rib cage smashed in with a blunt object. Okay, I've already found all of those. Yeah, I know. I already got the infirmary. Oh, I should probably take the matches. There we go. Cause we're gonna need it! Okay. Someone I expected the bed to be a lot dustier. I'm surprised it's been less good that you can finally rest your rare bones, Naomi. I think we'll lie down for a bit. I'll tug them in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> Don't think me out. I haven't done anything. Got me a makeshift splint and some bandages that sprains a goner. Her face. You're asleep already? How can you sleep at a time like this? You really are an oddball, you know that? Thanks for pointing it out, bitch. Hi, Naomi. Huh? That is a... Hora, Kyokugen Jotai? 
Thanks for your advice. Well, think about it. <laughs> Hope you find him soon. Uh, don't know how you wish you didn't have to put him through all this, huh? You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy and be safe and sound back at home rather than wander around here, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right, I guess. <laughs> to make sure I apologize later. <laughs> and what was that exactly? Sorry, this is why I see that ass of yours. I start to drool. You are so weird. It was Yuka again. It's so weird how, like, within the dimensions that it all takes place, like, pe past, present, and future. Because when they saw Mayu, that was in the past for her. But when they hear Yuka, that's in the future. God, fucking shit with multi dimensions are like fucked up. Oh, did my game just freeze? No, did my game froze? I think my game froze. Hold on, give me a second. Fucking game froze. Naomi wa mo skoshi yasunde te. Shinpoi dokuro, otoshi mo ikuru. Naito mo da yo. Chatta maki te. Keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Demo, well, sekkaku da shi mo skoshi yasunde na yo. Hmm. Wakatta wa. I guess I'll stay here. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Um, trying to not die. <laughs> You're leaving the moment he touched your boobies? He touched the titties, though! You're lucky you're so cute. It's okay, I'll let you touch my titties. Oh, fuck. I hate this part. God damn it. This part's gonna fucking make me- this part's gonna drive me insane. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let me- I think I just have to grab the alcohol. I fucking don't like this part at all. Oh, God. Let me save first. I don't like this. Anything having to do with, like, fucking quick time events and having to escape shit just freaks me out. My uncle's expression is a visible bolt that's keeping the door closed. So, oh, God. I don't like this. Are those children? <laughs> Oh, God, I don't like this. This shit, I'd hate it. <laughs> Wash the blood with soap. <laughs> this ring in my ear. <laughs> Please make it stop. Please make it stop. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Scribbling on a sheet of paper. Oh god. It began as if it's written on scene. The letters are so mishappened and inconsistent. However, they completely intelligible. Sachi, have you come to find me? <gasps> oh, I fucking hate this, dude. No, because I know it's... Oh, actually... Sure. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. God, I hate that so much. Oh. The controls also aren't very, like, good, so it's not it's like not very fast paced. Naomi, I wonder if there's a way to do that without getting caught. I am Marco Donaita. Oh, I hate that so much. <coughs> Need me to rub your back. Looks like we were two people here. Only two people living in anyway. Naomi, you're not going to sleep in bed. I literally just ran away from a fucking ghost monster, so I think I'm fine. This creepy black apparition thing. マジ大丈夫だったなんとかあの部屋もう近寄らない方がいいわじゃあそろそろ行こっかだってでも行くってどこに I thought it pretty much been everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. The only people who have come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. Tokyo's were finished, and I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi! Genki daste! Never die, right? We're invincible. You got a hairdresser for my first thing tomorrow morning, and I intend to keep it. If we make it back alive, sure. Sega, what am I doing? The only thing I got to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh huh. You just keep smiling and laughing. Tell me, how is this going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Don't be yelling at my girl. 
The whole situation is just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her and abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and I couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing out of my mouth and someone had turned a, a spigot. Uh, all I could do was moan complain and be little. I really was behaving like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can. To make a crowd. What's wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I don't want people to work that way. Oh, God. I don't like where this is going. I have to apologize. This is my fault. I have to apologize. Don't even fucking matter if you choose this choice. You can't even get him out anyways. I'm sorry too, but it's okay if you say you split up. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the words I'm sorry. Ugh. I heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at the moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me. So bright that it hurt. Sometimes you need so bright that it hurts. And so, in the next of closed spaces, we are humans all scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends we should be thankful just to have a small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place. We're quickly, quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinate need towards Seiko would come to the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange. Or far more dire than I could ever have imagined. That jerk. Oh god, now I'm playing a Seiko. Okay, I need to find a save station somewhere. I can't remember. Fuck, do I follow the voice? Uh, no. Hold on. Backstory. I am by myself into the stupidest things. Temp save. I had literally just looked to see what the fucking next part of this was, and it's not gonna be pretty. Actually, mm, I think I might, because this is, I forgot that this was the ending of the chapter, so I might group this in with that last video just to make it longer so i think we'll do that because it's not going to be very long so we'll go ahead and do that so yeah that was the first time huh first time i ever fought with naomi like that oh mouse is on the screen whoops for a moment, Senko and I parted away as the fear I've been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt something else was in my head like I was under some alien influence. When I went to the distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over and over. Strangely, I have no memory of where I was during that time, as I ran up an 
uh, I just ran as if in a daze, unaware and concerned with my surroundings. When I finally came to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko! Okay, let me see how they do it in this one. So I guess there's really no way to save her. Hmm. Oh god. God. Alright, get the bucket, get the bucket. Alright, get the bucket, I don't care. Also, I don't know why onto Naomi's hands and skirt. I don't know why she's dumping them on herself. Oh, so I guess it doesn't even matter if you are in a hurry. It wasn't even gone that long. I left in such a jiffy I could have fucking saved her. This would be the moment where you take her down and try and do CPR. <laughs> like, I feel like you shouldn't just stand there anyways and leave your friend hanging, but... I don't know, what do I know? Until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing at school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as a reality? <laughs> Continued in Chapter 2. Chapter 2 has been unlocked. Extra Chapter 1 has been unlocked. I'm curious. Oh, there's a lot of extra chapters. Interesting. So do we want to look... I don't know how long these extra chapters are. Hmm. So... So chapter one has two wrong endings. To get this ending, you have to play through the information you're seeing without reading the newspaper in Classroom 3A. So, in Chapter 1, the wrong end. 
So in the true ending, the game cuts black, and Naomi is not a lot, and monologue is for a bit. But in this one, it shows the child spirits where she can't move. And then somehow in another, Naomi finds herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hands. Her mouth was agape, and she was lowering this, lowering the open scissors into, into it as if intending to swallow them whole. I can feel the scissor blades clanking against my little molars, and I can hear it too. The ghost vanished, and Naomi stands. Am I trying to swallow a pair of scissors? They're moving on her own. So yeah, and there's a first wrong end. Um, so in that one. You end up uh, swallowing scissors. In wrong end number two, you have to get caught by the spirit. Uh, with visioning and dark, the black mist begins flowing around Naomi's body through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes, and no time she's completely acquired. With the vision darkening and consciousness fading, all in thing, the last thing Naomi ever sees is a wildly grinning version of a woman that she's never seen before. So those are the two wrong endings in that one, and then chapter two leads to a setback. So we're going to end it for here, and then we'll pick this back up tomorrow after work um, and play through a little bit of that. Um, if I ever do decide where it's just like, I don't know like where the exact um, like right endings, right endings uh, to end it off will be. I don't know if there's like a correct way to pause or whatnot, so I might incorporate like putting two videos together to make one long video um just so it's better and yeah so we're gonna end it here and yeah hope you all enjoyed everything is down in the description i love you guys and i will see you guys later bye, -bye.